Yeah, man, what's the way you two's black commission on the rest of it? Today we are reacting to this game over for Young Thug and YSL. Now I hope that this is cap, but I believe that it's not. Cause we got people taking plea deals, we got people switching on the members, we got you feel me? They saying that they only want the leader of the group, this nothing third, man. It's just some bull. We finna see what this video going what information this video got for us, man. Roll to 1k, man. We are so close if you haven't missed y'all, but like, comment, subscribe, comment, join me to react to the next one. Let's get into this rest video, man. Let's go. Hey, yo, squad. What's the drill? Back with another video, man. Recently, rappers have been receiving charges like Willy Wonka's golden tickets, but those tickets lead to a chocolate factory don't nobody want to go to, you dig? Recently, Atlanta's rap crew YSL, home to Young Thug and Gunna, were hit with the dreaded Rico. That's the charge that separates the boys from the men. Gunner, however, was freed on December 14th, 2022 after admitting his guilt to a single racketeering charge and was given a five-year sentence with one year commuted and time served and the remaining three years suspended subject to probation requirements, including 500 hours of community service. With the news of Gunner's release as well as the release of Slime Life Shorty, questions have been raised as to whether or not Gunner actually snitched on his partners. Today, we break down the ins and outs of the latest to the situation of this YSL saga. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. Young Thug, actual name Jeffrey Williams, was detained earlier this year during a raid on an Atlanta home after being accused of engaging in criminal activities that according to the prosecution violate Georgia's RICO law. Around the same time, Gunner was also taken into custody. In the indictment papers, Thugger is listed as one of the founding members of the YSL Young Slime Life organization. Rap lyrics have long been cited by American prosecutors as potential evidence of court proceedings. Aiding in the See, that's what I don't like, how they use lyrics, bruh, as, um, for evidence. That's so slow to me, bruh by American prosecutors as potential evidence of court proceedings, aiding in the conviction of rappers. However, the contentious practice didn't gain true notoriety until recently with Young Thug and Gunner's arrest as well as the recent RICO charges given to other rappers. The use of lyrics in their indictment has been met with much pushback by freedom of speech advocates who openly support legislation that aims to curtail the practice. We have this artistic freedom of expression and obviously that's something that the courts have always tried to preserve and protect and so if we cannot speak freely if something that we creatively express can be used against us in a court of law then that's certainly going to silence a lot of people the indictment claimed that gunna owns substances to distribute including methamphetamine marijuana and hydrocodone and that he also acquired stolen property the wild thing is that song lyrics weren't the only entertainment job related evidence that was used social media based posts items of apparel and accessories with slime images on them were also used a few people were also accused of committing violent crimes such as attempted armed robbery and hit before the fulton county grand jury in atlanta i believe this to be the reason that young thug and gunner had previously received numerous denials of their bond. Prior to Gunner's release, his Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis's open disdain for the collective has been well televised and documented. I've made no secret about it, nor any apology, that as the District Attorney of Fulton County, my number one focus is targeting gangs. It does not matter what your notoriety is, what your fame is, if you come to Fulton County, Georgia, and you commit crimes, and certainly if those crimes are in furtherance of a street gang, that you are going to become a target and a focus, focus of this district attorney's office, and we are going to prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. The media coverage of the case has caused a bit of a stir in the hip hop scene, Bitch. where many have argued that this trial is merely the most recent example of the criminal justice system unjustly linking rappers to violent crimes through their art. Thug was charged with seven additional offenses following the May 9th arrest, according to reports of a police raid on his Buckhead home. The added on charges include three counts of being employed or connected connected to a criminal street gang to carry out or take part in criminal gang activity through the commission of a crime and several other charges. Things were looking grim for the whole camp and as each month went on matters only seemed to get worse. Every headline about this case
case, as up to this point seemed to take away hopes of a silver lining for the Atlanta crew. However, on December 14, 2022, a little over seven months after his May arrest, Gunner was suddenly released from jail after three denials and pleading guilty per the rules of an Alfred plea deal. That enables him to admit guilt, if it's in his best interest, while preserving his innocence to a racketeering conspiracy charge. Gunna entered what's known as an Alford plea and It makes sense to take a plea though, but it's like, it just looks bad on his, on his part, you feel me? Because he's kind of like the leader. Well, co-leader or whatever, I don't know how it worked, but... ...entered what's known as an Alford plea in connection with one count in the RICO Act case against him. Metro Atlanta attorney Ryan Greathouse says in simple terms, it's a type of guilty plea. Where a criminal defendant is ultimately saying, I don't agree with the facts as they're alleged. I maintain that I'm innocent. However, I believe that it's in my best interest to go ahead, plead guilty. Young Thug was detained on May 9th, making his total time up till now more than 200 days locked up. I swear time flies, man. When Gunner looked back Dang. on his time with YSL, he said he became affiliated with YSL in 2016. He did not consider it a gang, more like a group of people from Metro Atlanta with shared interests and artistic aspirations. His focus on YSL was entertainment. He said he cherishes his association with YSL music and always will. The rapper emphasized that despite agreeing to the plea deal, he hadn't worked with the prosecution to have Young Thug or the other people named in the indictment convicted. Which brings us to the now infamous video of Gunna being questioned in court following the news that he would be released from jail. The video footage of the rapper taking his plea deal has been released per WSB TV. In the vid, he acknowledges when he first started the rock with YSL. Yes, ma'am. I became affiliated with YSL around 2016. Is that true as it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. This was a simple enough question and was seemingly harmless. Although he wasn't just associated with them, he was employed and rescued by them in a way. They got him out the hood and put him in a position to be a fixture in the music game as one of the top artists of the decade thus far. He was the number one artist next to Thug and received all the benefits of being a part of the collective. It seems like all of that history doesn't mean much to him when faced with the consequences of his alleged actions, because he also confirmed that YSL is a record label and a game. Goodness. See, the way the questions are being worded kind of plays chess with Thugger's side of the defense. To the average person, it would appear as if Gunner was just answering simple questions so that he can go through the motions and go home. But there's something much more sinister at play here if you listen closely. I became affiliated with YSL around 2016. Is that true as it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game. And you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. Gunner still says that he is innocent despite the plea. The I don't know how to feel about this shit. It don't, it's not like my feelings matter about this shit, but it's like, I'm still entitled to my own opinion, but it's like, bruh, he just admitted that they commit crimes and shit, so somebody gotta go down for it, you feel me? So now they gonna target the leader, which is Thug. So now I feel like Thug gonna get, he getting the bad end of the stick right now. And you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. Gunner still says that he is innocent despite the plea. The rapper has the option of pleading the fifth, but he is required to take the witness stand if called to testify in court under the terms of the agreement. He agreed to have his five-year sentence reduced to time served and 500 hours of community service. Unfortunately, though, Young Thug is awaiting his trial in January from behind bars. According to Fulton County Court documents, a Georgia judge maintained January 9, 2023 is the trial start date despite attempts by the prosecution to have it moved to March 2023. As a part of Gunner's probation, he is also not allowed to carry a gun during his sentence. If he violates the plea agreement's terms, the district attorney has the right to revoke his suspended sentence. And being that he's a rapper, these are gonna be some pretty tough terms to try to right. adhere to. Seeing all of that is one thing though, but what's really crazy is that Young Thug and his team were allegedly blindsided by Gunner's decision to cop a plea deal. During a recent Clubhouse chat, WAC 100 claimed that Team Thugger had no idea Gunner would take a plea deal that would ultimately lead to his release. What might go on? They had no idea 
that dude was about to do that. That ain't nothing Thug told him to do. That ain't Thug them knew he was gonna do. His management, the attorneys, nobody communicated shit. They found out when the we found out. Sure, I guess we could take this bit of info with a grain of salt, but I ask you all this though. If you were Young Thug and you were being painted as a kingpin, would you want your co-defendants taking pleas without Hell you knowing? No. And why would you agree to such a thing? One bright spot for Jeffrey, however, is the recent evidence victory that his defense team scored in December of this year. Fulton County Judge Yorel Glanville sided with Thugger at a court hearing on Thursday, December 15th, when he ruled that the evidence seized during the raid of his house can't be used against him in the upcoming trial. The defense argued the search was illegal and expressed concerns about the validity of the warrants or if any actually existed. Thug's attorney requested that all of the property that was seized be returned to Thug, which includes a cell phone, computer, and a small amount of herb. Prosecution intended to use evidence found in the cell phone against the YSL rapper in next month's trial, but that won't be the case anymore. A judge making the ruling that cell phones and other evidence collected from the rapper's home during a raid could not be used as evidence in his upcoming trial next month. This is a huge win for Mr. Williams because there was no telling what was in that phone. It's hard to say what this really means, but this is one of the first things in the case that was actually in favor for Young Thug. He's gonna need all the help he can get because based on the last events involving YSL members, Thugger is being passively left out to dry. As of now, four well-known members of YSL have entered into plea deals, including Gunna. About the same time that Gunna was released, YSL artist Slime Life Shawty requested an Alfred plea as well. The 24-year-old pleaded guilty as a first offender to one count of conspiracy to violate the RICO Act. The plea got him a sentence of 10 years total, with one year commuted his time served and the other nine years being on probation. YSL Lil Duke was simultaneously getting the same deal and skipping off into the sunset. Yet the latest of the free slimes is actually Young Thug's own brother, Unfunk. Contavious Greer pleaded guilty to one count of violating RICO Act and one count of theft by receiving stolen property. Greer accepted a 12-year sentence with two years commuted to time served and 10 years probation. As a part of his deal, he must not have any contact with his brother Young Thug and other defendants until the case is over. Greer must also perform 750 hours of community service, abide by a 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew and cannot have a gun. If he is called by any party, the deal states that Greer must testify. Wow, man. Something about that just doesn't sound right. But anyways, Gunner said that while he has agreed to be truthful with authorities, he made it clear that he has not made any statements. Gunna and his legal team released this statement saying in part, while I have agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case, and have absolutely no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way. Slime Life Shot has made a statement on IG about not making a statement or being hot whatsoever. But unfortunately, based on the video clip and the numerous pleas, a majority of people online would say that the damage is already done in terms of how the case affects Young Thug. I mean, after Gunna answered those questions, what else is there really for the feds to know? If they already have other witnesses and have been piling evidence for 10 years, Gunna really doesn't need to say anything else especially if there are multiple people admitting participation and or acknowledgement of crimes. You hate to see that a music powerhouse such as YSL fall to this kind of fate, but hey, this is what comes with the game, man. Will it be game over for Thugger and others? We just gonna have to wait and see in January. And of course, we gonna keep y'all updated. In the meantime, stay smart, stay alert, and stay- Hey man, that's it for this reaction video, man. Make sure y'all boys like, comment, subscribe, comment, show me to react to next and I'll catch y'all in the next one, man.